Douglas, John and Brogno. Tell us why you're here at Tops Off Barbershop. Because they are about to shear me like a sheep, but it's all for a good cause for the St. Baldrick's Foundation um, fundraising for children's cancer research. All right, we'll see you later. In the chair, and his barber is Kelly. Kelly is gonna take that lovely whiskey, mature hair. Now, did you raise the money off of that hair? 333. 333. So that's a really that's a good number. I know. I was so excited. It was like, what a cool number to end it. I'm ready. Here we go. Bye bye, hair. I'll bye see you guys. Hair. I'll see you. Bye bye, guys. We're, we're I'll see start. you. I'm going to start right down the middle, right? I think oh, so. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, there we go. Goodness. First one. Really it's, ah. it's, it's, it's an anti mohawk. It's an anti mohawk. <laughs> reverse. Yeah. Yeah. A reverse, reverse mohawk. I like oh, it. My gosh. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, start All right. Kind of a jazz one. <laughs> have you shaved in your life, Kelly? Oh my gosh, you know, I've never kept track. <laughs> I mean, we've done this for our seventh year doing St. Baldrick, so quite a few at this point, just in that. I just want to say, Tom, say thank you. Several of you guys, well, everybody here has done it at least one of them. The two people who have been here all seven years. But it's for First of all, i got to thank Kelly and Tom's off for everything they've done to get this. They have helped us $100,000. Mostly Bill, mostly Bill, but we're here. <laughs> Casey and Jeff they are also seven years JV. That's our goal for next year is to raise more money than this year, to have new JV, to make sure everybody comes back, and you have at least one woman JV. I always tell the story three years ago, the last, uh, two years ago, first year of we had two 10 year old girls shave your head. We did. That was awesome. Wow. Let me tell you what, a 10 year old girl who shaves her head for childhood cancer raises a lot of money. <laughs> serious message is that for the kids who are experiencing childhood cancer treatment, the bald-headedness is um, pretty traumatic. Absolutely. Um, your hair is part of your identity. Right. So it must be really tough for kids age 10, 11 to lose their hair. Yeah. Oh, it you. <laughs> you look great. Right. Uh, three years ago. What's that breeze? <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. We are super honored to participate in St. Baldrick's. We love it. Thank you.